All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode tier, episode two on the Pixelmon Revolution server. Uh, my name is Dash. I've just been working a bit on the interior of our Pokemart that we built, uh, Poke Center actually that we built uh, in the last episode. I need to get uh, the top part of this done. All right, and I think that's all I can do right now. I need to get a little bit more materials. This episode, we're gonna you know continue with our plan we're gonna i want to get the paths down so i want to put all these paths in and i want to build our poking mark i think i want to put it in around around here one of these areas uh probably remove that and it'll probably go right here uh i know it's quite a distance to uh apart but i like the idea that it's an actual town and things are spread out it's not always right next to each other so i'm not going to put it right there uh, so I'm gonna get things ready uh, for our build and we're gonna do some work on it and then maybe we'll do some Pixelmon style things like working on our team and stuff. There is a Mega Lucario boss right here. I just popped up and uh, we have to kill this thing. We absolutely have got to kill it. 71, oh my God. He's weak to fire, so I need to get the our Infernape. Cause there's, yeah. okay. Oh wow, that's. That's pretty bad. We'll try it with Obstagoon, Steel type cross chop. But we're four times weak to fighting. Okay, that did decent damage, but we're not gonna get another one. Yeah. Okay, I'll mega evolve fire punch. This is gonna Wow. Wow, that was crazy. Okay. This guy's gonna be tough to beat. I need to get, maybe our Keldeo might help. Wow, we just, he's too quick. He may not be able to hit this guy. And we're not going to be able to do much. Wow, okay. It is gone. Man, there was nothing I could do. That is unfortunate, but at least we know they spawn right here. They can spawn in this biome. Just... Very rare, but we do live here, so, you know, hopefully we'll get a couple more of them. Because, uh, essentially, Lucario is my favorite Pokemon, and we're going to have him in our gym, and we need the Megastone for him, for our gym as well. So, I already got the Megastone for Ampharos, but need that as well. So, I think our what we should work on is leveling our guys up, so whenever we see one of those guys again, we can deal with them more, more properly. So we got thoroughly spanked by that Lucario and because of that, we have done a bit of work. I don't even know if I had this guy in the last clip, but I have got a Toxic Orb Poison Heal Breloom now with Spore. In order to get Spore on, on a Breloom, you have to keep it a sure mission till level 40. Um, so now he's got Mock Punch, Spore, Seed Bomb, and Headbutt. Probably gonna replace Headbutt. Um, I think he learns uh, Sky Uppercut, so we'll probably replace one of the moves with Sky Uppercut. Um, and we have power leveled a bit. You can see our levels over here. I've got them turned on. Uh, Persian level 52, and we got an Amulet Coin on him now. We got a Ghost DMZ on Decidueye level 48, Amphros 46, Lapras I have now equipped at level 48 with an ICMZ for... Ice Beam, it's pretty good. Uh, I've equipped a Lapras because our new strategy for killing Megas is going to be Lapras Perish Song. As soon as Lapras is at level 60, it will learn Perish Song, and then we can take out Megas with ease. Because he can tank a hit, he's very beefy, and he's got plus HP. So we will start with Lapras, play a Perish Song, and then in four turns they faint, and we will get the, uh, the Mega Stone. Um, where we have been power leveling is a whole different story. We have got Wyatt, near Wyatt's base, ha is a ghost tower. So, you know, they spawn bosses there. I'll probably show it off maybe, uh, maybe later in this episode. If not, I'm sure we will be there at some point in a video. Um, so we power leveled there a bit and got a ton of drops. Let me show you guys everything we got. Pretty much everything here we got. I already had the Amphrosite, but I got another... Lucky Egg, which I traded for a Master Ball to White, because he really wanted a Lucky Egg. We got a Choice Band, and we got uh, a ton of this stuff as well. Pretty much the bottom two rows. So, a lot more Z-Crystals, 
um, more choice items. Uh, I've got another Ampharosite. I got an Adamant Orb for summoning. I think that's Dialga. So we've got a ton of stuff. But now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work on our base. We're going to do the Mart later in this episode. Um, but I've designed our base and I need to get this stuff moved in there. I need to put our Apricorn farm back in. So I need to get this built. It's going to be right back tucked in here. Right against this, this cliff right here. I think... Uh, let's run from this real quick. I think I might have to take... This whole hill out right here in order for it to fit uh, so I've got quite a bit of work to do so I'm gonna get started um, and then I'll come back once we are ready uh, to do the build all right as you can tell I have removed this chunk of land and now we are going to put our our base right here uh, I'm not gonna do time lapses or anything like that no time lapses in this series I said it last episode uh, in case you missed it um, but I will do like a little build montage. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you once I've got it either all done or most of it done. Here's the build. We have finished the outside facade other than the flower beds and adding some leaves and stuff. I also added a waterfall. I'm actually going to have it come up a bit higher. I think from back there it doesn't look very good. Um, but since then I have really been getting into some Pixelmon aspect things. Uh, namely breeding. Over here when we get fire. I've got three breeding pods set up right now. They're just temporary. Um, we've got uh, two flushing right here. Breeding. We've got two Jang Mo'o's right here breeding, and we got an Infernape and a Chimchar right here breeding. None of them have given me an egg yet. Um, one of them, a couple of these guys are actually from eggs, but essentially, uh, we're trying to get good IVs on our guys. Um, and also, we're trying to get good natures. So, when I hold shift on this guy, you can see, it's like right here, there's a long line. We see... I, EV stats and IV stats. IV stats on this guy aren't the worst. They're about 54%. It says on the left, uh, come back, Lapras. So not the greatest. I mean, he's got high eight HP, which is really important for him. So, and, you know, we don't really care that much about Lapras. But these guys, um, but uh, I want a Talon Flame to fly around on. I want that to be my main flying guy. We need a good Komo'o for the gym and a good infernite for the gym so that's why we're bringing these guys up so first we have to get them good ivs and then all i have to do once i have the ivs is the hardest part i think once i got the good ivs all i have to do is have a destiny knot throw the destiny knot on the guy with the good ivs and an everstone on one with the nature that i want and i've got uh each of that for these guys for the nature um, and the Everstone will give the nature to the baby and the Destiny Knot will transfer the IVs to the baby. Um, so that's what we're hoping to do. Now the issue is I don't have a Destiny Knot or an Everstone. So the best place to get that really is either Mega Bosses. Destiny Knots can drop from Peruglies. Um, like the large cat, the evolution of Glammeow. And they spawn here in the plants biome sometimes. So I've killed a bunch. I haven't got one yet. Nobody has. Uh, and Blissies drop Everstones at the same rate that Peruglies drop um, Destiny Knot. So it's pretty rare. The only other thing is from Mega Bosses. So I've been killing all the Mega Bosses I've seen. Um, I don't know if that includes like the Gengar Mega Boss and stuff that we get, or the Sableye Mega Boss we get at the Ghost Tower. Um, but I've been doing some farming there, and I still haven't gotten. I don't think that Cody is on us. Uh, I still haven't gotten either of those things. So, um, we're going to hit hit a wall here with the breeding pretty soon until we get that. Um, but I can go ahead. I'm learning a lot. 
like um, environments. Uh, these guys, the normal type requires grass. Uh, other things could work better, but it's hard to get. Uh, these guys are not fighting type yet, so I can't use stone brick like I've got over there for the Monferno. Um, so I, it's just stone for these guys because they're, or they're just dragon type. Uh, they're not fighting yet. Uh, Chimchar and Monferno are both like fire and netherrack, so I've got this. Uh, I got netherrack down. Uh, with fire on top of it so uh, that's what we're working on now uh, and the better the environment for them the faster they're gonna breed uh, and then uh, the reason I want talent flame as a flyer is one he's way faster than um, our boy decidui and he's got an ability called flame body which makes eggs hatch either 50% faster or a hundred percent faster so we definitely want to have him <laughs> Um, so that we can fly around fast and hatch the eggs at the same time in the same breeder. So I'm just breeding him up to make sure he's got... The only thing I really care about on him is a good attack stat and a good... What's it called? A good speed stat. I really want like a 28 through a 31 on speed. And I want the a good speed nature. I want Jolly for the nature. So again, gonna hit a wall there pretty soon. Gotta get an Everstone and Destiny Knot. Um, so yeah, just gonna have to pretty much farm pokes for a really long time uh but in the meantime we are going to build our pokemart as promised we're going to build it right over here so i'm going to get working on that uh i'm probably not going to do a montage since we did that for that uh i will probably just build it and come back and show you the progress and if i decide there's anything else we need to do this episode we'll do it and if not then we'll probably leave things off there so i'm going to get to work on our pokemart and i'll see you guys when i'm done Alright guys, we are at the aforementioned ghost tower, and I just got a nether star off of this boss, so that's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, we have nowhere near enough uh, iron or anything like that to make a beacon, but we do have a nether star, so that's pretty cool. Maybe we could sell it or something. Um, we also are getting some pretty good stuff here. Choice Scarf, Water, AMZ. Uh, most of this stuff here is Wyatt's. Look at all, he's got multiples of most of the Z crystals. Huh. So he could, he got some of the other ones, huh? So maybe I could get a Deciduum Z. Uh, something I also got was I captured a Rowlet that had the, the best nature for us, plus attack minus special attack. Uh, our Decidui actually was one of the worst natures because it's minus attack. Um, and he's an attacker. Uh, put him in the box and we're training up uh, Dartrix now until he's flying and then we're going to have our new Decidui. So I'm going to keep grinding this place for a while uh, and get a bunch of stuff and then I'll come back and we'll go work on our Pokemart. Alright guys, I've been hard at work and here we go. I have finished our Pokemart. I think it's looking real good. We changed the design from the Poke Center um, just enough to, you know, keep it in the same style uh, but make it obviously a different building. Uh, this is actually wrong right here. I just noticed that. Whoops. It needs to be just like that. Where'd that go? I want it. Yeah, I think it's looking really good. Uh, pretty happy with it. Did a little bit of interior work, not much. Let's put them back there. That's pretty good. So yeah, not, you know, completely done, but you know, almost done. And same with the interior for the Poke Center. The path and the river. Uh, we did not have these last clip, I believe. I just did a little, a little bit of busy work while waiting on uh, th things to breed up. We are getting Pretty much a perfect fledgling and a perfect jangmo o every single time we breed. Um, the issue is they do not have the right nature. Now I have an Everstone, but if I use the Everstone, then they're taking the Destiny not takes IVs from my Jolly jangmo o or Jolly Fletching, and they don't have very good IVs because that's just how it ended up being. So I think it's a really low chance for me to end up getting a perfect Pokemon by doing that. I think I have a better chance, 1 in 16, of doing Destiny Knot and a power item on these guys and just waiting to get the correct IV. Uh, we can go more into breeding in another episode. It's still only episode 2, so I'm not going to go into it a lot right now. And we still haven't even gotten a single perfect Pokemon, so we're not pushing up too fast. Um, so... I really need to work on the interior of this so that I can get rid of all this stuff, um, including all this, so I can start laying out the rest of our town uh, coming up here. And our town is also going to go all the way into this uh, area over here, and maybe even a little bit into 
you know, there might be a couple buildings here, a couple buildings here, but I definitely want to extend it. Well, all the way here. Don't let me die. Okay, good. Because I have a lot of levels because I have been AFK fish farming. We haven't gotten, uh, that's another thing I've been doing. We haven't gotten a mending book or anything of value yet. Um, but I do have a mending fishing rod so it doesn't break on me. So that's pretty good. Um, but I think on my to-do list either in between next episode or next episode is to uh, get that stuff moved into here. Get an actual inside to our main base. Um, so we can start working and then lay the rest of our area out here. And of course, we'll do some more Pixelmon shenanigans. Maybe the first tournament will be announced by then, so we can start working on that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pixelmon. I really enjoyed making it, and I have been enjoying being on the server so much. I've been playing an insane amount. Let's go into statistics real quick. 2.81 days. I've almost put 72 hours into the server in the past seven days now it is friday so it has been seven days since the launch and i've put almost 72 hours into the server and uh a few, i think only two people rival me in that being wyatt and peanut they're probably pretty high up there as well in playtime but as I was saying, been enjoying Pixelmon, been enjoying playing on the server, been enjoying making the videos. If you enjoyed watching the video, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like, please subscribe. It really helps me out uh, more than you know. Thank all the support I got in the first video made me want to put this out so quick. So uh, hopefully we get support like that again and I can keep getting these videos out to you pretty quick. So my name is Dash and as always, thanks for watching.